Oh, I think we are. Oh, right, let's see if I can mute myself there. I don't really want to be talking to myself or listening to myself anyway. Is that nice and loose, the, the wire there? It's not going to pull it out. Shouldn't do. Should be okay. I've just tucked it around the back. Just I didn't want to get, to get caught. But there we go. Um, morning, Karen. How are you? Quick off the mark this morning. Thanks for joining us. Um, so today we have something a little bit new, which is rather lovely. Um, and it's kind of, it's a little bit of a rehash, but this is something that we've been wanting to do for a while, actually. Or oh, morning. Morning, Amy. Diploma Sewing Day, marvellous. Morning, Maureen. Morning, Maura. Um, hi, Sue, how are you? Uh, that looks pretty, I know. We've got something kind of new, kind of... Oh, I'm just going to... Bit of tape stuck on the table, sorry. I'm easily distracted. Um, so today, what we want to do is talk to you about uh, the new pattern, but it's not quite new. What we are trying to do, because we've now got our two different size ranges, we've got misses and curvy. So we started that last year. And what we're trying to do now is to go back and reinvent some of our older patterns with the double, with the two new size ranges, but also giving them a little bit extra. So what we've decided to do is work with Imogen first, partly because the little placket the little V shape here can throw people off slightly. It's actually really easy to do, but um, it's one of those ones that um, sometimes you need a little bit of helping hand with. So um, what we've decided is we've kind of revamped Imogen. So before, if you were kind of thinking, oh, well, either it's a bit too big for me or it doesn't go up to my size range, now it does. It's all inclusive, which is fantastic. And what we've also done is to include a new version. So pull my friend over here a little bit so you can see her. Um, the, we've got a slightly different neckline. Now this is one of the hacks that I did ages ago when we first did the pattern. And I love it, I really do. It's such an easy one. Um, and all we do is we're just ignoring that notch and putting on a stretch neckband. It's fab, it really is. And we've made it longer into a dress. And of course, it has pockets because we can't not have pockets. Um, it still has that lovely side shaped hem, which is really nice actually, I like that a lot. Um, and what we've done is we've given you, so you've got two different neckline options. You've got whatever length you want to do it. We've done it as a top and a dress, but you've got length and shorten lines there to make it really easy to make it into a tunic or a proper maxi dress, whatever you prefer. And we've got three different sleeve options, which is rather fabulous. So like the one that I've got on here, we've got little cuffs. So this is just an, one of our normal ribs. Um, we've used that around the neckline and around the wrists as well. We've got the original elasticated uh, sleeve. Now you could, and we have had people do this before, finish this off like you do with a cape with a bias binding instead, which is another really cool way of doing it. And we've also got the short sleeve version. So you've got three different, it's a really lovely kind of mix and match kind of pattern, which I'm hoping you're going to really like. Um, oh, more comments, lots of comments coming in this morning. Good morning, morning, everybody. Uh, morning, Judith, morning, Nikki. Good, lovely, I like to see my diploma students working hard. Um, morning, Mel. Uh, morning, Ruth. Morning, Kirsty. Loving the new dress. Uh, Mel says, is it blurry or me? Mel, you might need to clean your glasses. That's all I'm going to say, because I quite often have the same problem. Um, morning, Claire. Like the dress, cutting Rosalind pyjamas. Oh, nice. Um, 
Rosa, hi, how are you? Fabrics are gorgeous. I know, we've got some really beautiful things to show you this morning, actually. Um, morning, Julia, how are you? Morning, Alison. Um, morning, Maria. Morning, Linda. Morning, Emma. Morning, Chrissy from a sunny but blustery Norfolk. Oh, morning, Gretchen from Chile Syracuse in New York. Thank you for joining us. So, this is the new version of Imogen that we are launching today. There is a course that will be going into the sewing studio probably tomorrow. Um, the PDF and the paper patterns um, are all there, ready to go. It's just a question of what fabric are you going to make it in really? So this is what we're looking at today. So these are some of the fabrics that would work brilliantly with Imogen. Now, there are quite a few different ones that will work actually, and you're kind of spoilt for choice. And the brilliant thing is, each time you make it in a different fabric, it's gonna change the look completely. So from one pattern, you've got tops, dresses, maxi dresses, tunics, you name it, it's gonna work. So some of the, if you're having a look at the website, some of the pictures that you'll see there will be in this beautiful fabric, which is, she says, ah, uh, that's it. It's called Wanda um, and it's a viscose. Now, a lot of the fabrics that we're gonna be showing you today are going to be viscose fabrics. This is gorgeous, I love it. And I think the thing is, this is the kind of pattern where if you've got an amazing print and you want to show it off, it's gonna be there for you, isn't it? Which is brilliant. Um, Morning Sue, looks a comfy dress. I'm putting together Cordelia at the moment, ready for the retreat weekend. Fantastic, that's a good one to do actually on the retreat. Um, so yes, we've got Wanda, which is absolutely beautiful. One of the other fabrics that we've made this lovely short sleeve version, um, which has Claire very wistfully looking out over the train at the train station. Um, this is, oh, let's have a look at the label. I think it's, yeah, blue and pink spot viscose, another one that's really nice and light to work with. I think I probably showed this with something else the other week, actually. Shan's gonna put all the fabrics up online. Um, I'm trying to remember how much, I think it's about a meter and a half for the misses, for the, sh for the, sh the top version. Um, and I can't remember off the top of my head how much you're gonna need for the dress, but it's going to be twice your length. So I would probably go for about three meters. So, really lovely, like this one. I'm gonna pop that at the back there. Um, we've kind of colored things up, mixed things in. Um, you will need some lightweight interfacing if you're going to do the neckband with the V-neck, the notched neckline, which we have. So you can get everything all in one go. This is a violin or Vlyzeline, however you want to say it now. It's an H180, so it's a really nice, ultra soft, lightweight one, which I love and I use all the time. Um, this is brilliant because it's not going to change the nature of the fabric. It's just going to support it while we cut it into that kind of curved horseshoe shape, which is brilliant. We've also got the elastic that you're going to need if you are making up the little elasticated wrist. So. We've got the centimetre wide elastic here, which is brilliant. Now, again, you could make that into a proper feature and either lengthen the sleeve and give yourself maybe a double row or maybe even three rows of elastication. Or you could even use shearing elastic just to make it look a little bit different. These, there are so many things you can do with this pattern, which is absolutely lovely. Morning, MJ, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, so that's Wanda and the little blue, light blue and pink spot, which what we've made our samples up in. Um, but to be perfectly honest, it works beautifully. I'm wearing a double gauze that I've had in my stash for eons. Um, I can't actually remember where I got it from, which is a bit naughty. Um, now Sharon's gonna kill me because I've added two fabrics in that she didn't photograph this morning. Sorry, Sharon. But this is our old navy, our navy um, linen. And again, this would just work so perfectly, particularly if you wanna put a stripy cuff with it, a bit of stripy ribbing, which I think would be amazing. Morning, Rachel, how are you? Another diploma lady. Are you working hard today, Rachel, or are you watching at work? 
So I think those are really gorgeous combinations. Um, linen is going to be perfect for this. It really is, especially as a longer dress. I've got umpteen different linen ones as tops and I am going to be making a lot of longer ones now. Um, this is beautiful. Now this, again, sorry Sharon, this wasn't in uh, on the original list, but uh, I picked it up off my desk because we used it in the filming for the course. But this is one of our luxury crepes. So this is another one that's going to work really nicely. And Rachel says, sneak listening as everyone is out of the office. I don't blame you. <laughs> you just have to make sure that you angle your screen away from everybody else and just put your AirPods in, don't you? Um, bright red I think this is a gorgeous color and uh, it's perfect with denim or um, the navy cord or there we go anything else that you want to put with it I think it's a really love and it's a gorgeous fabric as well it just has it's the right kind of weight so that it's not going to be too drapey in the dress and will sit perfectly for the top so I think that's a really lovely one actually um, so I'm going to move that out of the way. Now, a couple more ribs that will work with different things. She said, oh, I've got an eyelash. Never mind. Um, now we've got this one. Again, this is such an amazing print. If we have this as a big kind of piece, this is Retro Geomex in red viscose. Oh, doesn't that look cool? I love that. I know it might kind of make your eyes go a bit, but I think that's really, if you're not really into big florals or anything like that, some of these geometric designs can look amazing. And we've got the red rib, if you wanted to go that way, which I think would be really cool. Or we've got the blue. So again, either option would work there. Let's just have a quick look and see. Oh, morning, Carolyn. Good evening from Aussie. Whereabouts in Oz are you, Carolyn? Thanks for joining us. Um, Brilliant, there we go. Oops. Morning, Jules. Watching, working, looking forward to the Paloma three day weekend. I know we've got some good stuff going on this weekend. Oh, I'm really sorry. I've got something stuck in my eye. It's probably a fluff or an eyelash. It's always the way, isn't it? When you're about to go live. So, there we go. This one, as I said, is Retro Geomex. Sharon's going to probably pop it up in the link. Uh, if not, done already. They oh, are fantastic. There we go. She's on the ball. Um, there we go. We've got a free PMP code as well today. Now, another one that I think would work really nicely with the red rib is this one. Now, we've got this in other colours as well, actually, which is rather nice. Let me just see if I can find the label. There we go. It's called Petals on Navy. And it has just a tiny little bit of red in there, which is rather nice, actually. That works with lots of different things. So I think, again, that with a navy, with a red rib, could look really cool, actually. I quite like, sometimes you're, you're sort of tempted to go for a darker colour on the ribs, but actually it can make it look really quite striking, a lot, like a little pop of colour, if you have something that's a little bit brighter, which I think would work really nicely. So, as I said, this one is, she's, I have to keep looking at the labels now. I should just look at my screen, actually, because Sharon's popped it up already. Um, it's called Petals on Navy Blue uh, Print Viscose. Again, all the fabrics I'm showing you are 150 wide, apart from the ribbing. Um, and that kind of varies because it's in a tube. Now, we've got lots of tutorials on the website that shows you how to work with that. Um, and it's really, really easy, particularly if you've got an overlocker, I have to say. Um, I think we've got tutorials in there, actually. Working with stretch knits in the sewing studio. Love your overlocker in the sewing studio. Um, all of those are available as individual courses now as well, so which is really cool. Have a look at those if you're kind of a little bit unsure about working with rib. It is so easy. You basically make it into a circle, double it over, put it inside the neckline or the cuff and whiz it round. It really could not be any easier. I know I've probably made it sound far too easy, but actually it really is. So it's not a difficult one to work with at all. Um, we've got another navy spot, actually. Again, this is perfect. If you are going back 
to work, or even if you're still doing your Zoom meetings now, um, and you want something that's a little bit smarter, but still comfy, and you can have your slippers on or your Uggs or whatever you wear at home, big fluffy socks, then um, something like this, the little navy polka dot, there we go, is brilliant because it kind of looks smart. It's a bit of a classic. Um, I quite like it with, now we have got, oh, we haven't got it out, but we have got white rib at the back there that would look really nice with this actually. Um, we've got some darker navy that's arriving within the next few days as well, which would work really nicely with this. You could also put, have a little bit of a stripe going with it too. I think that would work really nicely. So you've got quite a few options, quite a few options there. I like that one. We've got, we have got this in other colours as well, actually, which I'm going to show you. So we've added those in a bit later. Two. Um, now this, you will remember, this is Flower Glory. Again, I really like this. And I think it works with that stripy rib too. Um, now I've made up a Regan in this, which is kind of similar to this, but um, I really like the raglan sleeves on this, which is lovely. So again, that's um, Flower Glory. But again, that would also work with the red. Again, bring it, just lift it a bit more, give it a bit more of a pop of colour, which I think is really cool. So, which is rather nice. Now, I have got my list of things. Olivia has given me a list of things that I need to talk about today as well, which is really cool. Um, oh, Linda, is that rib on the dress you're wearing? I'm wearing, it's like um, a ready-made cuffing um, and we are going to be getting some more of that in as well. So this is just, um, you know, like the kind of cuffing you get on tracksuits or something like that, I suppose. Um, and we are going to get some different ones. This is just a striped one that, again, that I had in my stash from ages and ages ago. Um, but we are going to be getting some of those in. So that's another option another option. Um, I'm going to move that red over there. Is that just going to get in the way if I put that there? Is that all right? Might be slightly in the way. I'm going to move those up the back then so that they're not going to get in the way. In the way. Charlie's very often in the way, especially in the kitchen. We do the kitchen dance. Do you do that? There we go. Uh, have I missed anything else? Oh, Julia says, very good question. Would the dress work with a fine jersey? Yes, it would. Now, the pattern, as it comes out of the packet, has no darts in it. Because it's a trapeze shape, so it's narrower at the top and flares out at the bottom. So all of the fitting kind of falls from the bust. So yes, you absolutely could make it in a, um, a single jersey or even a really lightweight French terry. Now I've got my eye on, I've got my eye on this, which you can't see, it's out of shot. Sh there we go. There we are, this is the one. I really love this, I love this. And I'm just waiting for, there we go, this one. Um, I'm just waiting for the very dark navy rib to come in and then I think I may have to make myself one out of this. Um, just something completely different and a bit random, but I think it would be really cool uh, to work with trainers. Quite like that. Um, I might even, ooh, here's a radical idea, you could make it a straight hem and put a bit of cuffing or ribbing around the bottom of the hem so it kind of brings it in. Who's going to be the first one to do that and put a picture up for us? We love a bit of show and tell, as you know. Um, there we go. Oh, more. Morning, Linda. How are you? Nice to have you drop by. Um, Chrissy says, just love the dress. I have ordered some of the navy stars and needle cord with magenta ribbing. Oh, is the needle cord going to be too stiff? It's hiding behind here, actually. Um, it's going to give you a bit more... It's going to give you more of a structured shape. I would wash it first, put lots of softener in it, and then see how you th feel. Remember, you can always kind of work out how a fabric's going to behave by holding it up and just seeing how it moves and how it behaves. It's kind of like the wobble test kind of thing, I suppose, is the best way of describing it. Um, are you going to put the two together? Oh, more. 
with the magenta ribbing. Oh, magenta ribbing. Are you going to put the two together? That would look amazing. You must send us a picture when you get that done. I love that. I think that's brilliant. Um, so have a look and see what you think. There we are. Uh, Amy says, Tom and Zoe have requested matching jumpers in the green and blue French terry. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Um, oh, Linda says, love the new hairstyle. I know, I'm not quite sure how long it's going to stay because it's a bit of a faff to do. But there we go. We have to suffer for beauty, don't we, really? But never mind. Um, cool. Oh, Christy, that sounds fab. Brilliant. Lovely. So... Some of the things we've got to mention at the moment. Don't forget, we're doing a big thing on sharing. We want to share the love this February. We want to share the love of sewing. And uh, we've got the hashtag SMS patterns love. So pattern love rather. So if you are going to put pictures up on social media, don't forget to put the hashtag and that way we'll be able to find you and we can share and we can comment and say how fabulously you look because of course you're going to. Um, we've also got our Perdita Sew Along, which starts next week. So we've got the cutoff day um, on Sunday, so you can purchase that. It's um, a brilliant price and because it's kind of, you've got the videos, but it is interactive as well. So you can make it, so the videos will be going out in the morning, you can then do that bit of sewing in the afternoon or the evening if you want to, and then ask questions. So if you get like, if you're not sure about anything, you can just pop your question in the chat and we'll be there answering all day um, to make sure that you're okay with everything. And that's going on over four days, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. So that's brilliant. Um, and hopefully by the end of it, you will have your amazing Perdita. Now, don't forget, we've got a huge section of buttons that are going to work perfectly with all of the fabrics. So you can get everything all in one go, which is brilliant. So don't forget about that. We've got Perdita Sew Along. Um, oh, there we go. Sharon's putting up some links. That's brilliant. Claire says, can you advise if the dress can be made without the rib? Um, you could, it would just be a question of extending the neckband, that's all, which we haven't included as a pattern, maybe we could do that as a hack, um, but we thought we would go for something that was a bit different. So you could just continue that neckband round and have it completely flat if you wanted to. So that's another option as well. Oh, there's so many things you can do with Imogen, who knew, who knew? Um, we've also got some workshops, physical workshops in the studio with me and some of our other tutors. We've got our Fit Masterclass coming up on the 24th and 25th of February. We've got two places left for that. Now that is going to be a fab one. It's all about getting fitting on your bottom half, basically. Um, so it's you won't actually be making and going away with anything apart from some expert knowledge in how to fit yourself and other people because that's what it's all about. So it's a small group, only six people. Um, we're looking at how to fit from the waist down. So skirts and trousers um, or culottes if you want to, but it's trying to get your kind of three dimensional shape sorted. And let's face it, you can't fit yourself when you're trying to make a pair of trousers, can you? Because we just don't bend in the right way. So it's a brilliant way of making up your own toiles, whatever you're working on, and then bringing them here so that you can get them expertly fitted. Um, everyone's going to be in the same boat. We will look, be looking at, because quite a few people will have very similar fit issues, so it'd be brilliant. So everyone's going to be in calico, which let's face it, is not the best looking fabric to wear, but we're all in the same boat. And we can go through the fit analysis and look at the issues that people have, and then we can work out how to fix them which is brilliant and I'm really looking forward to that. That's right up my alley, that one, which I'm really looking forward to. We've also got a brand new series of intro to dressmaking coming up um, and that's an evening one. Um, it starts uh, at the beginning of March when we are just about to put the clocks forward as well, which is lovely and it's so lovely coming here in the evening. It's just quiet and peaceful and relaxing and there's cake which is brilliant. We've got the Kate dress coming up. Now Kate is such a lovely one. 
she is one that we are going to be working on to kind of revamp this year. So if you want to come and actually learn how to make your cake dress, that's a brilliant workshop to come to. And Claire's going to be running that. That's brilliant. Um, we've got loads of workshops coming up on our workshop calendar. So do check that out. We've got um, Fit Your Dummy, which is another brilliant one. And again, it's all about the fit, isn't it? You get to a point with the dressmaking where you kind of think, yep, I can just about master a concealed zip. I know how to use my overlocker for finishing and stuff, but what I really need is how to fit. How do I get things to look better? And this is where it's all about. Making sure that you've got something that you can work from at home to kind of get a much better idea. So we're gonna make your mannequin at home, pad that out to your shape. Now, nothing is gonna replace actually fitting the garments on your own body, but this is gonna be as near as damn it, actually. And it's a brilliant workshop to come to as well. So we've got one place left on that in May, I think. So um, there we go. Yeah, so those are the workshops. Now, back to the fabrics. Oh, let's have a quick look. Sorry. Um... Could we ask Sharon to ask Liv to bring down a power bank to charge that camera? Oh, okay. Sharon, can you knock on Liv's door next door? We need a power bank to charge the camera, apparently. Yes. Tech, tech, <laughs> tech issues. <laughs> it's all good. I just want to make sure we don't run out. There we go. Um, Vanessa, uh, if you have the original image and pattern, can you buy the add-on bits or is the pattern too different to do this? Also, will be. Okay. Um, the uh, it is a completely separate pattern so it is completely new if you've got the original one that's totally cool but the new one is a completely new pattern so we've got some other tweaks and stuff like that in there so it's definitely worth getting the new pattern um, so and will the in-depth course work with the original pattern um, we do show you how to do the notched neckline on the in the video course as well, which is in the sewing studio, or will be in the sewing studio very soon. So that's cool. Um, brilliant. So let's get back to more fabrics, because that's what it's all about. Let's move that out of the way. So. Oh, I love this. This is such a cute one, and it's got loads of colours in it that you can kind of pick out and match with, which is really lovely. It's another viscose. And it's called Garden Party. Now, I think this is really pretty. Now, again, this would work with a navy rib. Also, if you want to go for a little bit of extra colour, it goes with our yellow ochre rib as well. Oh, here we go. Battery pack's coming down now. <laughs> Sorry about this, everybody. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Liv. Oh, fabulous. There we go. Unfortunately, because we're in a barn, we can't sneak around here. So you will hear when people go up and down the stairs, I'm afraid, but there we go, that's fine. Um, let's have a quick look, there we go. Lovely, so I think this is quite a nice combination actually. You've got lots of little kind of, it's a really pretty little kind of flower sprig, but you've got a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, a little bit of pale blue, the ochre. I think it's a really nice, nice color mix actually. So that is flower, where is it? Garden party, there we go. I think that's a really cute one actually. I can't remember, somebody did one, of, somebody here made something up in it. I can't remember what it was now. It might even have been an Imogen to be honest, because it's really nice. Um, so that's that one. Now another, again, this is nice. If you're not really into the whole big flowery thing, this is a lovely one actually. Um, and it is dots and dashes. We should have called it Morse code, really, shouldn't we, or something like that. Um, oh, Julie, hello. Don't worry about being late, we're here. Um, love my dress, what's the fabric? I wish I could tell you, but it's been out of my stash and I've had it for years. It's a double gauze um, and yes, I love it. It's been in my boxes upstairs, which are now gonna have to get moved home because I have finally got my sewing room. Um, and I would love to tell you where I got it from, but I really can't remember, so I'm really sorry. Um, but we have got plenty of fabrics here that might tempt you as well. Now, again, I think the yellow actually works really nicely with this um, as a little bit of an extra contrast. Obviously, you don't have to put the rib with it. You could just make the whole dress with the notched neckline. It's entirely up to you. And that's the brilliant thing about mixing and matching so that you get what you want. 
So this is dots and dashes. Again, it's another viscose. They're all 150 wide, so they are quite economical, actually. Let's pop that one there. Now, a couple of our linens. I love this. This is Hunter's Green. It's a gorgeous colour. It really is. We have got some ribs coming in or cuffing coming in that are going to match this. Um, I've been looking far and wide trying to find things that I think are going to really work with the colours of linens that we've got. Um, can I use linen? Yes, absolutely, Julie. You absolutely, totally can. This is why we've got them out here. So we've got Hunter's Green and we've got the Chartreuse. And I think both of those go beautifully with, um, oh gosh, what's it called? What's it called? I can't find the label. Um, vintage, no, retro something. Oh, this one says pink stretch needle cord. I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> Maybe it's got, we put it on an old board. <laughs> <laughs> that's thrown me a bit no there we go let's see if we can find it um Sharon what's uh, on the Ritz I knew it was something to do with kind of 1930s things my brain at the moment I can't recall the names of the fabrics probably because I'm not dealing with them that much at the moment um but this is absolutely beautiful oh, can you imagine look at this in a whole dress look that's just amazing I love this. I think it's just gorgeous. I really do. It's so cool. And the nice thing is, this is the kind of dress that you can just, oh look, I've got a pair of leggings. I've got leggings and trainers on today. So these are my Robin leggings, just made in navy um, single jersey with a pair of trainers. So yes, I've actually got my ankles out. Although I think my ankles are probably blue now because I've been so covered up all winter. But the sun is shining, so I'm exposing a little bit of flesh today. Um, but there we go. Three beautiful fabrics that would work perfectly in the Imogen, either as a top or as a dress, and I think they work brilliantly. Um, let's move these out of the way. We've actually got loads of fabrics that I want to get through today. So I'm going to have to create some more stashes or piles up here now. Um, now, I think we did. I think we did put this one out a couple of weeks ago, actually, or the other week. Um, and again, I love this because of all the colours in it. What's it called? Is it Lobelia? Am I thinking it's Lobelia? Um, uh, <clears throat> Jane, I think you're going to need a roughly about three maybe just over three, depending on how long you want it for your dress. It's going to be at least twice your length, plus maybe a bit extra for sleeves. So I would go for three, three and a half. I, I took just over, I think it was about three and a quarter to make this dress because I've lengthened it slightly. There we go, Libelia. I thought it was Libelia. Now that's beautiful, isn't it? Now again, you've got that lovely ochre rib or you could even go for an orange if you're so inclined, which I think are rather lovely actually. Or we've even got that kind of turquoisey teal. So again, loads of different combinations that you've got there. I'm gonna pop those there. Now again, there we are. Oh, now this is lovely. This is Maddie in pink. Now, the colours in this, oh, look, they are just amazing. Look at that, another dress in that. That'd be so cool. Now, again, you could pick out the ochre to go with your rib if you wanted to. That is really gorgeous. Such a lovely combination. I like this. It is satin, but it has got a slight, so it has got a slight sheen to it. But I think it's definitely an everyday dress. You could get away with this. And I quite like that, you know, slightly kind of glitzy fabrics with a pair of boots or trainers, I think works really nicely actually. And again, if you were pairing it with something else, so if you wanted to um, make the top, make the Imogen as a top and put it with a pair of trousers, you've got a pair of linen Nell trousers would work really nicely with that too. Oh, I like this combination. 
Right, let's move those out the way. Actually, that can stay there. That can go at the back. Running out of space. We've got a bit too excited with all the new fabrics that you can use. Normally we kind of go for about, I don't know, was it 25, 30? Um, oh, hi, morning, Claire. Love my dress, thank you. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few. We've got over 40 fabrics today. So yes, the newsletter is going to be a lengthy one, I think, today. But that's cool because you can never have too much fabric, can you, really? Now, so this is our warm spice linen. And again, I think this is one of those gorgeous colours. It doesn't, when you just see it on the roll like that. Now, we've got uh, some of the photos of the Helena dress. Claire's wearing something really similar, actually, and the colour just looks amazing. When you actually see it made up on a person, it looks completely different, but I just adore this. I think it's, I don't know if it's one of the colours that I personally can wear, but if you have got a slightly warmer skin tone, I think this is going to be beautiful. Um, oh, there we go. People asking fabric questions. Quantity questions, yes. I would say for the dress, it's going to be about three, three and a half, depending on how long you want it. And the top is about a metre and a half to two. Again, depending on whether you want to lengthen it or shorten it. So there we go. Hopefully that's a bit of a rule of thumb for you. Now, if you want to go a little bit, kind of tone it down a fraction, double gauze. I mean, I'm wearing double gauze and it, it works brilliantly. It's not getting caught up on my um, leggings underneath it. It's absolutely fine. I think this is lovely. Now we've got several colorways of this. This is our Dobby Spot linen. But again, if you've got, then um, it's kind of like, um, what color is it? What color is it, Sharon? Let's have a quick look. Olive green. I think it's more grey than olive, really. What do you reckon, Matilda? It is more grey, isn't it? Elephant green. <laughs> Elephant green. <laughs> That's why I'm not, I don't name the fabrics. It's like there's, oh, there's that Pharaoh and Ball paint colour called Elephant's Breath. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? I actually had that on a bedroom wall once. Elephant's <laughs> Breath, yeah. Um, there we go. So this, I think, again, you can go to town. If you have something really simple, you can just wow it up with um, a bright coloured rib and again I think it makes it look a little bit sporty um, if that's the kind of route that you want to go I quite like that kind of look myself um, but I think that would work really nicely again you could pick out the yellow that yellow ochre rib would work brilliantly with this and we have got other colours that I'm going to show you a bit later so that's the double gauze that we've got there, which again works brilliantly. Um, oops, there we go. Let's pop that over there now. Oops. Um, and this is the same as the navy that I showed you a bit earlier. So this is the one I think, yeah, Claire made, sorry, scrunchy noise. <laughs> Um, Claire made her Angelica, and again, you can see the photos of that up on the website. So this is rather lovely. Oh dear, that's just, <laughs> that's my phone going off, sorry. Oh no. There we are. Now this is really nice, actually. This is a cotton lawn. Now I think we've got, yeah, so it's a similar kind of fabric, but it's going to give you a slightly different kind of drape, which is really interesting actually. And it'll be lovely for the summer. So again, if you want something that's a little bit toned down, not quite so brash and in your face, then this lovely kind of dark bottle green polka dot would work really nicely actually. Now we've got a couple of other ones. Now this is an interesting kind of collar story here. I really like this. So I love this. This is just beautiful. It's called, where are we? Buta Green. I think that's quite an interesting colour. Um, 
I love all the colours in that spotty fabric, says Claire. I know. It's we've got another, yeah, we've got another one coming up as well. Actually. Oh, there it is, yeah. Um, this is gorgeous. Look at that. I love the colours in this because you wouldn't necessarily put them together. They're kind of slightly clashy colours, like orange and green and purple, but actually work together. I think they are amazing. I love this so much. Now we've got our Heather Arctic Dusk linen and again again if you wanted to just make it up as a top with a pair of trousers then I think the heathered um the arctic dusk linen would work perfectly really nice combination I love that um you could if you wanted to go a bit bonkers and pop it with the orange rib which again I think is really cool actually I like that I like the mix so again if you kind of think about colors color wheel Orange is opposite purple, if you see what I mean. The red and yellow and the blue and red kind of, yeah, it works. It feels like it shouldn't work, but it does. Now this is another of the colorways that we've got of the polka dots, which is a lovely rust kind of color. Now, cinnamon, ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice descriptive word actually cinnamon you kind of you can picture exactly what you mean then can't you this is beautiful and I think this is lovely this would make up amazingly and again I think this is the kind of color if you've got a really nice dark dark indigo pair of jeans this would look amazing so some really interesting little colors here they all work beautifully now oh, it's even got it's even got a little bit of turquoise just putting it with that and again, it just changes the whole look of the fabric altogether, doesn't it? Which I think is fabulous. Um, have I missed anything? Don't think so. That's good. Marvellous. So let's move these ones out the way. And then we can push the other ones. Let's move those out the back and we can push all of these forwards there we go now this I think is a lovely fabric again I kind of want I almost want to make the Titania robe up in this actually but again that's a big piece oops wouldn't that is that's just going to look amazing isn't it it really is I love this and you could get away with putting the kind of gray rib on that as well actually which would look really cool I'm just thinking, is that, is that a delivery lorry coming? We might get a knock on the door in a minute. So this is taboo or tobu, taboo. I don't know how you pronounce it, T-O-B-U it's spelt. How would you pronounce that? Yeah, I think that's gorgeous. I love that fabric so much. So let's move that orange out of the way now. We've got, now again, if you want something that's a little bit toned down, this is lovely. This is a spot jacquard viscose. So it's a beautifully soft fabric, but it has a little kind of spot woven into the fabric. I don't know if you can, can you if I hold it? Yeah, you can just about see it. Yeah, which is rather nice. Um, Yes, Titania in the uh, taboo fabric would be incredible. You could have to waft with like silk pyjamas underneath, wouldn't you? And waft around a garden with Earl Grey tea or something like that, wouldn't you? Which we do have here. If anybody wants to come to the workshop, we do have Earl Grey. Um, we have got this in other colours. We've got another pink one I can show you as well. This is quite a nice kind of, almost like a, a filler if you see what I mean. So if you've got brighter colours and you just want something to kind of just mix and match with it, something like this is quite a nice one, really. Maria, has it, and it's got pockets. Oh, of course it's got pockets. Everything's got pockets, Maria. It has to, doesn't it? Now, I love this. Again, this is one. If you're not really into big, bold patterns, but you want something that's a little bit busier, Again, look at that that's going to look amazing as a dress it's very very kind of 1930s isn't it in fact it is an original 1930s print that's just been brought up to date which is rather lovely and it is called she says where's the Shannon put the link up in a minute so I can 
Let's see what it's called because I can't find the label. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Hannah in floral black viscose. There we go. Now, again, if you wanted to, you could just put something really, you know, just have with um, a black rib or even just go with a dark grey. Um, I think that's rather lovely. It's a little bit more muted. It's a bit softer, which I think is rather lovely. Sometimes we do want to be a bit more muted, don't we? So now this is similar to the blue and pink. So this is green, green and gold spot. And again, you can see it work and how it works. It just makes up so beautifully. It really does. So there we go. Another color option if you prefer more greeny kind of fabrics, which is rather lovely. Oops, I've got to put my list down. Oh, have I missed a comment there? Let's have a quick look. Um, could you slightly grade the sides to achieve less material volume? Um, you could, but that's how you get the fit right because we've basically taken the bust darts and swung them round into the hem that gives you that kind of swing so it isn't necessarily a question of just taking it off the sides you could take some of that fullness out by make, creating a dart and making another little bust dart now in the tutorial that's online we show you how to add in a bust dart so it might be that you want to add the bust dart in and then take some of it out, if you see what I mean, and that will straighten it off. But it isn't just a question of, again, this is where, if you're a member of the sewing studio, do start having a look through the pattern cutting because if you're altering patterns, a lot of the basic principles you'll find in the pattern cutting series. So when you are creating a garment and you want to add flair into the skirt, it's not just a question of adding it onto the side because wherever you're adding paper you're adding fabric and what we have to do is think about the body as a three-dimensional object so rather than making a triangle we want to think about a cone shape I hope that kind of makes sense so rather than just adding bits onto the side we need to open it out and add the extra fullness all the way around to create more of a cone more of a three-dimensional shape so yes you could take off a little bit from the sides but not too much if you wanted to completely take out the fullness and have a straight dress, you would need to move that fullness into the bust dart. But that's where pattern cutting is just so amazing because you can do all of these things very easily just with a few little techniques. So do have a watch of the pattern cutting series. That may well help you, Sam. So I'm going off on one there. Right, so that's green and gold spot. This is another of our Dobby spot um, double gauzes. I'm wearing double gauze at the moment. I can't remember where I got it from. It's been in my stash for eons, but it's lovely and it works and it allows you to breathe. The fabric is cotton, so it's absolutely brilliant to, um, to wear and work with actually. The only thing I will say sometimes, depending on your machine, you might want to reduce the pressure on your presser foot because it's slightly crinkled, it can creep when you sew long seams. So either do that or possibly use a walking foot. But there we go. That's a little tip for the day. Um, now this is beautiful. This is called Mopsy. Mopsy Fun. I love this. This is such a cute. Now this is brilliant. If you like a little top in that would just look fabulous. And it goes rather brilliantly. I'm not going to reach it over if, but with our magenta rib at the back there as well which is really cool um, my daughter and I made a dress up for her right at the beginning of the first lockdown in 2020 now gosh that was when it was two years ago wasn't it <gasps> um, and it's lovely it's a really gorgeous fabric it is another viscose but again it's really cool and it's got the navy blue in there so again it would work really nicely with a really dark indigo pair of jeans but it's got tiny little bunnies on it which I think is so cute, which is really lovely. So that's Mopsy Fun in Spearmint. We've got our Mallard linen here, which is what we've made this one up in. 
So that, again, you can just see, it's just such an amazing fabric. I absolutely adore it. It makes up in almost anything. It's just so fabulous, it really is. Um, other things I quickly need to mention, what's new, what's coming up in the sewing studio. We've got, actually talking about pattern cutting, we've got how to cut and spread sleeve shapes to create different designs, which is a really nice one. Again, it's one of the two fundamental principles of flat pattern cutting. You've got dart manipulation and cut and spread. Really, really easy. Once you kind of get your head around those, you can do more or less anything with pattern cutting. Um, and so we cut and spread your basic sleeve shape to create different styles, like a bishop sleeve, a puff sleeve, a gathered sleeve, um, all kinds of different things. So that's a really good one. As I said, the um, We've got lots of tutorials as well in there, how to sew elastic casing. We've got the second of our blocks, patchworking. People have been, I know people have been mentioning in the Facebook group, oh, is this gonna, you know, is this gonna take away from any of the dressmaking stuff? No, it's not, it's absolutely not. It's gonna add to it. Now, the reason we wanted to do something like that was because when we did the whole big kind of questionnaire on what you wanna see in the sewing studio, people were looking for ideas for scrap busting. So that's what we've come up with. We've come up with a beautiful quilt. Now, Claire is amazing at doing quilts. Um, if you want to follow her, she's called at with, at with These Threads on Instagram and her quilts are just gorgeous. They really are. So she's designed this quilt that we're going to be making throughout the year. And we're on the second of the blocks at the moment. So this is a brilliant way, if you've got extra bits of fabric, just to use those up and make something that is both useful and beautiful, which, you know, otherwise, what's the point, really? Um, so that's good. I will go back and refresh some of the things in a sec. So mallard linen, which is one of ours and it's absolutely beautiful. We have got, what's it called? Winterberry in pine. Oh, look at the two together. They are just lovely, aren't they? I really like those. Again, this would make up beautifully, both as the dress version of Imogen and the top as well, which is really cool. I love that. That is just gorgeous. Now, let's move those out of the way. The last few little ones I want to show you are a bit more colourful. Now, this is Painted Field, and I love that. That's so cute. Really, really pretty. Again, it's a viscose rayon, so it's beautiful to work with. Um, and I think that, oh, look, there's a little top. Again, for the spring. It's on its way, it really is. It's starting to warm up a little bit. I know we're gonna get a bit of rain, but actually we need it. It's been a really dry January in more than one sense of the word. I don't know if anybody's been doing dry January. Um, there we go. Now, again, this is another colorway of the Jacquard Spot. So again, it's a really lovely, soft pink. Um, and I think this, again, would be beautiful layered up working with other pieces to create an outfit i think this is lovely but again you can just see i don't know if i if i turn it slightly you might be able to see the spot turn it towards the light. there we go is that better yeah. i don't know you can just about see the just about see the spot there we go oh you can just about there we go you can just see it. it's got a little tiny so it kind of just shines, you just catch that. So it's really subtle, but ever so pretty. So this colorway is pink. I think it's just called the Jacquard Spot. You'll find it in our silky and drapey, there we go, light pink spot in our silky and drapey fabrics. Or it'll be in the email that goes out later on today. So you can click on any of the pictures in the email and it will take you straight to that fabric, which is brilliant. Now, these are some rather lovely florals. Now, this is a viscose and linen mix, which I think is beautiful. It's on a black background. So again, it makes it really nice um, to wear. There we go, I'm just looking at it. it says, Nikki's been doing dry January for over eight years. Don't miss alcohol at all. <laughs> I, to be honest, Nikki, I don't drink anyway, so I don't miss it at all. Occasionally I might have the odd gin, but um, yeah, I'm far too busy and important, quite frankly, to be able to cope with a hangover these days, um, which is what my daughter tells me. Um, and she's quite happy to carry on the family tradition 
and leave me be. So this, oh no, what's it called? Oh, brilliant, Wild Botanics, that's it. I was trying to think what it was called in my head and speak at the same time, which doesn't usually work very well. Um, I love this, this is, <coughs> excuse me, fabric dust. Um, this is a brilliant fabric and again, it's really easy to work with. So again, that as a whole dress would actually look brilliant. I think that's so pretty. You can see the fact you really need to kind of open out the fabrics and see them to, uh, and a big piece to kind of really appreciate the print sometimes. Now, this is another one. Now this is, oh, Crashing. <laughs> crash bang, flourishing fruits. Now this is another one and it goes brilliantly with our blackberry linen. There we go. Now actually the yellow in this is a perfect match for our chartreuse linen as well, which I've hidden right at the back there. Um, either of those work beautifully actually. I think this is gorgeous colors. It's really lovely. So again, blackberry linen, it's another classic one. And I think this would make up either as the dress or the top. I think that's a really lovely combination. And then we've got, actually, oh, I'm gonna put those two together as well. So this is wood violet, which is a viscose rayon. But again, it goes, works really nicely with our blackberry, blackberry linen, which is rather lovely. So we've got two really nice ones there. We've got another Dobby Spot. Oh, it's my list gone. Uh, another Dobby Spot. Now this is a wine or like a kind of a really rich color. Again, this would just work so nicely as a little top um, and it makes up beautifully. I think that's so lovely. Actually, oh, it kind of goes with that as well, actually. Oh, nice. Quite often when it's when you're waving fabrics around here that you kind of think of the different combinations that we've got actually, which work really well. Now this one is lovely. This is, I think it's Betty, isn't it? Sharon will tell me whether it is. I'm sure it is Betty, because it's the one that you like, Sharon likes. Yeah. Is it coming up? Has she put it up already? No, I'm thinking, I'm sure it is Betty. It's a viscose again, but it has a slightly warmer sort of feel to it. So it's almost like, um, kind of like, almost like a brushed cotton, but it is actually viscose. And this is amazing. This with the magenta rib, which I know Sharon's just put up on to uh, put the link up to. But yes, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's gonna look fantastic as a whole dress. I think that's just gorgeous. And again, it's got a black background, which kind of makes it easier to accessorize a little bit sometimes. There we go. So let me grab my quick list again, because I've wafted it. Oops, <laughs> I can't reach now. <laughs> there we go, oh dear. That's my aerobics for the day. Um, so just to remind you quickly before we go, um, we've got the Perda to Sew Along. So the cutoff point for getting involved with that is on Sunday because it starts next week. It's an interactive online workshop. So you do a little bit, you can watch the videos, then you carry on and make it up for yourself. If you've got any questions or queries, you can answer real time and we will get back to you. So that's not a problem at all, which is brilliant. We love you to share your makes with us and use the hashtag SMS pattern love. I had to just double check that just to make sure I had the right bit. Um, do check out our workshop calendar because we have got more workshops coming up now. Um, we really want to get people back in here in the studio again um, so that you can really get the benefit of having that kind of the physical interaction between with your tutors um, and it's a really lovely way if you are a kind of visual kinesthetic learner which is a great way of doing it um, and um, check out our blog as well because we've got the the blog is now on the sew me something courses website so we've got lots of things going on in there and i'm going to be giving that's where i'm going to be putting all of my um, blogs about setting up my sewing room at home so the first one goes up in there later on today. So check that out too. Lots going on. 
February was coming up as well. Already, where's January gone? It's just like five minutes, hasn't it? Already we are cracking on into 2022. We've got shows coming up. We've got a retreat coming up in February. Um, so lots happening this year. Lots and lots going on. So I'm hoping that we've inspired you with some of the fabrics that we've shown you today for the new Imogen pattern. And we will have more lovely fabrics because we're waiting for deliveries to come in now, which is fantastic. We'll have more fantastic fabrics with you for you um, next week. So stay safe, enjoy the sunshine whilst we can, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>